salad. I love salads, all sorts of salad, all kinds of salads. Um, but as with every salad, you get bored easily, regardless of the quantity you have. When I was a student, I remember there was this great restaurant back in Poland, in a, in a castle. It was great because there was this um, a parsnip, which is not roasted, not cooked, something interesting about it. And I thought, oh my God, parsnip on a salad, you know, weird, but I tried it and I loved it. Pre-peel, 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 pre-peel. I tried to recreate it back home and I fried a parsnip on olive oil, on a very low heat, added honey so it caramelized nicely. Music, make some people come together. And you know, it sounds very uh, weird, but once you combine the flavor together, you know, you have a bite in your mouth, it's just explosion of these great flavors. Welcome to my world where the magic happens. It's my staple meal for the last 12 years, really and nothing has changed, I just love it. Action! Hello beautiful people. The salad which I'm going to make today, it's that easy. This is for one person, so three parsnips. I could cut them lengthway. I'm calling it a parsnip and pear salad. So the parsnips are done, I'm putting the heat on light my fire, glug of olio di oliva. Here we are. Just to cover the bottom of the pan. And then you put the roots just along the way. You can also, if you fancy, twist them and turn so they nicely covered in olive oil. The good thing about the salad is that the parsnip doesn't have to be super fresh and crispy. It can be wilted, you know, the way you have somewhere in the back fridge and you forgot about it. And instead of just throwing it away, just peel gently and the softer uh, or more wilted the parsnip is, the easier to caramelize it and also extracts a beautiful sugary flavor. So don't throw it away, reuse it. So while this is, you know, happening, it will take probably 20 minutes to roast it and caramelize it. So usually I'm using a half of that size cheese per person. It's a camembert, French, and um, I'm using the Le Rustique. It's available in every market, supermarket. Um, and the good thing is when you buy a cheese to really smell the box, uh, whether, you know, if it's strong, then I think it's a great cheese to go straight away. If you don't smell anything, the, the cheese isn't mature enough yet. So this one is ready and beautiful. And I'm slicing it in half. That's it. That's what I'm going to use. And then I make little um, chunks. So another half. And then here we are. Three pieces here. And another three pieces. And this is going on a plate. It's good size. Here we are. And I'm going to just put this evenly that way. And here it is, a pair. Our secret hero. You do the quarters again. And then you peel gently. There we go. And one more. And place the pear. I did like that. So it's nice and even. And when you'll be slicing the salad, you have a nice chunks of each ingredient in your mouth. Just make a little bed of this baby here.
and then you just wait patiently for your parsnip. And that's a really, really good sign that this magic is happens here. Here. All right, so 20 minutes later, the car uh, pars carrot, <laughs> parsnip is beautifully uh, fried and it smells just really, really be beautiful. And I don't know if you want to see it here, this is how it looks like here. If you're more curious, I'm happy to share a piece by piece. That's my baby. We'll finish it with a, I have a coconut nectar. You can finish with honey, you can finish with um, agar, sugar or whatever it's called. Pour nicely on the parsnips. Just like that. And give it a little stir. So the olive oil, which is there, will caramelize nicely this nectar. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. About a minute or so and it's going to be ready. You know what? I have a sweet tooth. So add a little bit more. Here we are, prepare your salad, off you go. You can put more, you can put less, really depends how hungry you are, how much do you love this kind of combination. Um, just a drizzle, gentle drizzle of olio di oliva and balsamic glaze. There we go. It's sweet and acidic, so which is really great combination with the cheese pear and a parsnip together. It took me a while to find out that that's the best solution, but you know, good things take time. I'm addicted to pepper, so I add some. Zara, do you wanna try some salad? Hmm? Do you wanna try some salad? Here it is, orgasmic salad. That's what it is. Um, parsnip, pear, camembert, and uh, just basically something which I really want to have in my stomach right now. So let's not waste the time. Pear, cheese, parsnip, rocket. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. So much pleasure. Thank you for watching the video and if you like it please subscribe because we have a lot more for you coming up.